Good morning and welcome back. I've been thrift store shopping again and I can't wait to show you what all I've picked up this time. I'm so excited. I just love the thrill of the hunt, so stay tuned. Y'all look at what I found at a thrift store in Virginia. I've been looking for a blue and white soap dispenser for my kitchen. 79 cent been looking for some more plates to go on the dining room wall over there these were three dollars a piece they're china plates they're real small but the biggest most exciting thing is this look at this beautiful cake plate for 9.98 at the dav thrift store in virginia look at that less than ten dollars it's beautiful and then right beside it was this oh y'all look that was 6.98 it's beautiful too Ooh. so now you can see why i'm so excited about all these finds this is my kitchen and i have floating shelves that when we remodeled we installed and I just love them. I love my blue and white um, for the kitchen this spring and summer. Now I'll change these out in the fall and Christmas time. But I just wanted to share with you all the things I was able to either get for free, wedding gifts from a long time ago that I pulled out, and thrift store finds. All of the white pictures um, I've been collecting over the years, and some of them I paid a dollar for, some three dollars. That beautiful china platter I paid $3 for and the matching teacups were $2 a piece. Um, this was a wedding gift 39 years ago um, from um, a family member and it came from their missionaries in China. This is my milk glass collection and I got the larger bowl for $3 and then the little custard cups for $2 a piece. Um, this is a gravy boat I got for a dollar at Goodwill. These were a freebies. Um, we were cleaning out a relative's home and I was gifted these beautiful bowls. This picture was a thrift store find and that little porcelain plate back there was a dollar and it is real porcelain made in France. I picked up the water goblets um, from a consignment shop and they had been marked to half price so I got these for two dollars a piece. And of course there's my Dollar Tree bowls that I got to get some more blue on my shelves. And I love bowls of all sizes. I picked up this platter on clearance at Cracker Barrel. And then the little Dutch set, I have no idea where I've had it forever, but I got the little house for a dollar at Goodwill. And then a friend made that beautiful picture for us as a wedding gift. Okay, hey, this is my newest, and I did go over my $10 rule. I paid $18 for this. It looks brand new. It is iron stone. It's very heavy. It is a huge bowl, and it is blue and white, which matches my other dishes. And it is stamped. Um, I'm not sure what that means. If anybody out there is watching could give me some information in the comments. I think it says either 455 or 4SS. Um, that is stamped in the bottom of this bowl but it looks brand new there's no scratches on it and I just love it and for $18 I did not think that was a bad buy there were similar bowls that were $49.50 this is my enamelware basin that I use for gathering vegetables I picked that up at an antique market for about 10 bucks and then this is just the treasure it is so pretty and I know it's made in China but it is heavy ceramic the coloring and the painting on that is beautiful and I'll use this um, for hors d'oeuvres or little cookies see how intricate that cut work is and it's just so pretty I absolutely love this and that is my um, deal find this is my white um, lace milk glass plates that I collect and I got these salt and pepper shakers for $5 at a thrift store. They're milk glass. This was a find at a thrift store and it was $3 and there were two of them. But if you look at the back, it's the Staffordshire um, plates from England. 
so I was real excited to pick up those. So I have two that are exactly alike. I have my mother-in-law silver. She left that to my husband and I have it in two beautiful planners that I picked up at a pottery place really cheap. And it just goes well with everything. There's the second plate and then there is my beautiful cake plate. It is really heavy, got a nice gloss on it. And it's just so pretty. I'm so excited about this piece. So as you can see, oh, it's made in China. Under, I wanted to show that but it is so beautiful. And then my other milk um, glass lace plate. I am looking for some more of those to go over my dining room wall. I'm keeping my eyes open for that. I kind of have a list of things that I look for, but as you can see, it looks pretty, but I haven't spent a whole lot of money on this decorating. And that's what's so exciting about thrift store shopping. Now over on my dining room wall, I do have the silver platters that I picked up for a buck a piece. And the newest little plates that I got for $3. There is my original china in the middle between the two silver platters. So I put a hook on the back of that and hung it. But I am looking for some milk glass butter pat plates to put um, on to finish up that wall. So thrift store shopping is so much fun and I, I do limit myself to $10 per item, but every once in a while I can't stand it. I have to pay a little bit more. And sneak peek to the bedroom. I'm doing that in English Country Cottage. I'll have a video up soon on that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. And if you know any information about that ironstone piece, please leave it in the comments below. Have a very blessed day.